Masinga Dam, located in a little known town center called Masinga, is an embankment dam on the Tana River, the longest river in Kenya. It straddles the borders of Embu and Machakos counties in Eastern Province and is located in the northeast of Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Construction of the dam began in 1978 during the late President Jomo Kenyatta's rule. Four years later, the dam was completed. The dam is managed by the Tana and Athi River Development Authority, popularly known as TARDA, a government agency. Since 1981, the dam has been used for power production and is part of the Seven Fox Scheme. Masinga Dam is a 60-meter tall and 2,200-meter long dam. The volume of the dam is 4,950,000 cubic meters and has a spillway and a bottom outlet. We, ha we, have, the, we have these towers, water towers, that feed into Tana River system. That's the Abadias, the Mount Kenya, and the Nyabene. These are the main uh, water towers uh, that uh, form the source of the Tana River system. At full reservoir level, the flood level capacity is 1,056 meters above sea level. The reservoir of the dam has a surface area of 120 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 45 kilometers, and its total capacity is close to 1.6 million cubic meters. Because of its large volume, the reservoir is crucial in regulating the flow of water for the other four hydroelectric power plants or dams downstream. The other dams are Gitaru, Kamburu, Kindaruma and Kiambere. Masinga Dam is one of the five dams christened the Seven Fox Dams. The name comes from the way the rivers along the dams interact. The water is taken away through a spillway an open spillway, and the water goes back to the, to, to the water, to the, to the river. When it goes to the river, then it goes to the next dam. It generates. If it spills, it water is released to the next dam, and then to the next dam, until you reach Kiabere. Between Masinga and Kiabere, these two small dams, these really two small dams, set, they still open, the, the, the waters, and so that the, water, the excess water that it goes, it can flow down. Masinga, as a regulatory, maybe I would have tried to tell you the purpose of Masinga de Kiabere as a multi purpose reservoir. One of them is to control the flooding, like the flooding that has come. That's a fresh flood that has come. Excess water that comes through rain, rain runoff rain. See it? That water is, is held by the dam. After Masinga Dam comes the Gitaru Dam, which is partly fed by the spillage from Masinga and other rivers. The other two dams that come after Gitaru are Kamburu and Kindaruma. They are all spilling millions and millions of liters of water at the moment, a phenomenon that will continue for the next one month according to experts. At the tail end of the cascade is the Kiambere Dam, the last one in the so-called Seven Fox Scheme. The dam has a distance of 27 kilometers. It is the second biggest after Gitaru in terms of electricity generation as it contributes over 168 megawatts to the country's national grid. When we see the water going this way, we are not comfortable because these are waste, already it's a waste. It should go through the, the tub the tub and generate power for the nation and, and, and uh, limit the, 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 that danger it is causing down. So we would not wish to see uh, this kind of overflow. Kiambere Dam has the most magnificent water spillage of them all. The water has been running non-stop on the spillway for several days now and the spillage continues to be breathtaking, especially from a bird's eye view. The water that comes to Kiambere is mostly comes from the upper reservoirs because uh, currently there are no rains in Okamban, neither in Embu. But you can find the dam now, it is spilling. So the water we are receiving is from upstream, that is from Mount Kenya region, from Masinga Dam. Once the Masinga is full, it, it is spilled. The, the, spilling, the, spill, the water that spilled it goes to Kamburu, from Kamburu to Kitaru, from Kitaru to Kendaruma, then to Kendera. So this is what we are seeing is the excess of after generation. What the dam cannot hold is what is spilling now. From here, the, this excess water goes straight to the uh, Indian Ocean. It is causing that, that, that problem in Tana River, flooding. 
but if we could have an extra dam downstream, there would be no flooding because one there are there are several rivers downstream that have not be, that we have not collected the water so that it, we regulate it before it causes some uh, damages down at Tana River or in Garissa. The water that is bursting out of the spillway here in Kiambere Dam is such a magnificent view for anyone who comes here for the very first time. This, of course, is excess water that can no longer be held here at the Kiambere Dam. It is now falling directly into the Tana River. Once it hits the Tana River, the water is off, flowing downstream to other areas until it ends up in the lower parts of the country, including Darissa and Tana Delta, the areas where flooding has been causing destruction.